Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 24. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today we are starting off with the Gran Turismo Racing Kart 125. And we are going to be doing... I've forgotten the name of it. The GT Kart Championship 125. So we are going to be starting off with uh, Kart Space, which is a very good track. Moving on to Silverstone, the Stowe Circuit, which is a little circuit built into the middle of Silverstone. Um, which is really interesting to see the stove circuit actually in this game. Um, and then the Gran Turismo Arena for the final race. So let's get in. Right, we are starting in 8th place for this race. And we are in our go-kart. Let's go. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't crash and die. Nearly crash and die from the start. Come on, come on, come on. Right, we're coming up to the long sweeping corner now. Very good. We obviously have to watch out how... We are using the throttle because we can't be going too quick and we can't quickly go onto the throttle either because that's when you spin out. So unless you're still doing that clutch thing where it's slowly opening the clutch, going max throttle is going to spin you out. Right. Woo! Right. Right up behind the car in front. See if we can pin it on the inside. Perfect. That could not have gone better if we tried. The game has decided to run in 60 FPS now, and as soon as I say that, decides to go back to 30. Lovely. Do not spin out on me. Not today. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. I'm looking forward to driving the next route because I've actually driven on the snow circuit before. Oh. Awesome. Right, we have the lead. We have a lead. Just about. We need to try and keep hold of it. The other go-karts are right on our tail. Go, 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 go. Whoa. That was close. Coming to the little roundabout section here. Perfect. And across the line, one more lap to go. Fingers crossed, please don't mess up now. These carts are a nightmare to wrestle around this track, especially with controller. I wonder what it would be like driving go karts on a wheel, though. That would be pretty cool. It's just a shame no game on Xbox has uh, racing carts in. Which is a bit annoying. Why has Forza not got racing carts yet, huh? And there we go. Across the line. First place. 
with a 3 minutes 47.3. Very good time there. Very good. And we are now moving on to the second race, which is going to be Silverstone Stow Circuit. Three stars and 15,000 credit. Here we go. Stow Circuit. Let's go. Go around the first corner there very nicely. Oh! Nearly getting spun out through there. Squeezing past number 17 there. The number 69 car is coming through. Why is our car a little bit slower than that one in front? Why are they faster? That's not fair. That was a good corner there, though. Ah, crashed into the back of number 41 there. Went past number 23 very quickly there. Coming up to number one. Who isn't even in first? What a disgrace to your number. Right, we have two more cards to overtake and two more laps to do it in. That's how you take that section there. Go, go, go. Yeah, this thing's slow. This thing's slow. Come on, come on, we gotta catch up. Right, I have a feeling this first corner is where we're gonna overtake. Because while he's gonna break, we're gonna go like this and like that. Perfect. Right, slowing down here. Front left tyre heating up very mad there. Oh, they're all catching up. This is sort of a little bit weird because obviously this is like a club circuit. So it's not a karting track. It's a bit wider than a karting track. But a little bit narrower than the actual Grand Prix circuit. Oh, I nearly spun out. Oh, if I actually spun out, I would have cried. Genuinely would have cried. But look at that. 0.4 seconds faster. Very good time, actually. It's the next race that I'm not looking forward to because that's the Gran Turismo Arena. And that's a tough race. Right, we are here. Go-kart time. Starting in 8th position on the Gran Turismo Arena. 8 laps. Wish me luck. I think the aim of this one is to come like top three. I'm not fussed about or even aim to get back in one piece preferably now. I'm going to be very light on the throat all through these sections. we got to watch out that we don't uh, clip the curb through there. What are you doing? Here we go, nice. Perfect. Right, that is lap number two done. On to number three. Perfect. Oh, 
very wide there. I am trying to catch up with this guy, but he's just a little bit too quick for me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This next corner is our only chance really to overtake him. I mean, we could get more chances, but like... Perfect. Right, we are in top three now. Woo! Slip and slide through there. Perfect. Come on. We have two more laps after this. No. Woo! That was close. I have a feeling we're not going to get better than third today. Oh well, hopefully we should still win the championship, and if we don't, I will cry. I'll come back to this go-karting race later. Just keep it in one piece, keep it smooth, keep it steady. And across the line, third place. How far behind were we? Two seconds, that was it. Wow. Uh, I did not see that going that bad. Two stars though, I'll take two stars. It means we've only got one more to earn on that. And did we get first? Yes, we finished first in the championship. That is awesome. 15,000 credits there. Which is a very good bonus. Right, so we are now going to move on to the Dirt Trials of International B. We're going to be taking a Subaru Impreza rally car from 2005. This is obviously one of my favorite rally cars out of all of them. Uh, we're looking sort of at a Lancer Evo X rally car, Quattro, or a Celica. Um, and we are going to get about 18,000 to 20,000 per race that we're about to do. Uh, 600 performance points or less. We're at 583. And we need dirt tires. That is the only requirements for this. Uh, so technically, we could take a Ford Mustang or a Ford GT or a Bugatti Veyron. But I think the Bugatti is over 600 already. But you could do it as long as you can fit dirt tires. Uh, so we've got two 205 cars up in first, a 206 rally car, focus rally car. Uh, we've got three different types of Impreza rally car, and ours is the only WRX STI one. And here we go. Super Impreza time. Ho, ho, ho. This is going to be fun. I have traction control. Uh, not what I wanted. I do not like traction control on rally cars. Because the cars are always losing traction. That's what rally is. It's the limits of traction. Not having traction. You try to lose it. Yeah, the traction control's kicking in a bit too much for my liking. 
So we're probably going to lose this race, but I'll make sure to change it for the next race. It is good to see like an actual race with rally cars. Perfect. Powerful rally in. I follow the guide of Rally in 101. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's a Celica with that Tom Celica design, I think. Come on, come on. We're getting around these corners very good. It's obviously a massive sort of learning curve from being able to drive with full traction to deliberately losing traction. It is a completely different experience in the same game as well. It's a bit of a nightmare. But I'm so glad there's dirt races. Like, as soon as I saw that, um, that for the international B license, we had to um, do some rallying in Subaru. I was like, oh my gosh, have we actually got like dirt races? And we do because we're in the middle of one right now. And that 205 looks meaty. Ah, you're still in my way. Get out of my way and I won't crash into you. Perfect. Ah, oh, the traction control can jog on. It's on like five as well, which is like next to no power actually going it out to the wheels. It's like, yeah, you don't need power to race. You may as well just be cruising along. Awesome. And across the line, 154.7 for that final lap. And our overall time, 353.6. Awesome. That's a very good time there. Let's take our 18,000 credits and our three stars. I'll take that proudly. Star Attraction, 300 stars. I thought the last one was called Star Attraction as well. Hmm, interesting. Next up is Eager Norwand, which is a much better track. I absolutely love this track to bits. So this is going to be fun to drive. Right, so next up on the Dirt Trials, we're going to be doing Eager Norwand. This is a much better track than the last one. Um, we're getting 19,700 credits. And obviously, same typical opponents as well. Let's go to the track and see what cars we're up against. Dirt Trials, race two. Igor Norwand. I do love this. Igor Norwand's got a really good um, road track, but also a really good rally track as well. And we're going to be experiencing the rally one this time. Uh, so we've got an RS200, uh, Quattro S1, 205s, uh, Impressors. We've got three Impressors, so that's going to be fun. And here we are, Igor Norwand, start of the stage. And we have maximum traction as well. Well, we have traction control off, which means we can lose traction. Perfect, right. Oh, that was not comfortable, okay.
Awesome. Out of the way. And up we go. Up. Up the hill we go. I can remember doing this on uh, Gran Turismo 5 and getting that gold trophy first try in that Fiesta. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Ah! That wasn't great. It's not my proudest rallying moment, that's for sure. Right, into second, into second. Let's get around the corner. Nice. What is that car? I want to know what that is because that looks ugly. Some Hyundai or something. Quattro is the first place car. Let's try and get past. Thank you. And now this is the fun section, which is also going to be the same section as what we're about to drive next, but as a circuit. Now that is how you take corners in Gran Turismo on dirt. Leave it in second and just go. Always works as well. Second gear works really well trying to drift. Like that. Look at that. Obviously, now that we're in first place, I can actually do that and not worry about, you know, being overtaken. Yeah, I probably should have slowed down. I saw that jump just a tad bit too late. And the next section, I have a feeling just up here is going to be uh, the tarmac section. There it is. Tarmac time. Final bit. These are obviously dirt tyres, so we're going to have very little amount of grip here. And across the line. Now AI car just yeeted. Four minutes and one second. Very good. Rally for days. 19,000 credits. Awesome. And three stars. We love to see it. Right, next up. Let's go to the final event. Which is going to be around the W Trail. I think it's called. I think it's a W, a w? the W trail. Egan Orwan W trail, four laps, and it is the hairpin corners. The best section of Egan Orwan. Right, let's see. Tell me, what cars are we going up against? We are going up against... Some rally raid cars. RS200, 206, a Corolla. Very nice. Celica. Two of them, I think. Oh, no, just one. Just one. And a Citroen Zara as well. Right, let's do this. Time to shine. Right, so down here. Let's go around this corner. Oh, sliding a little bit too far there. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect. Oh, slow down. Come on, come on. Keep it under control. Keep it under control. Keep it under control. Woo! Right, behind the 206, come on. Let's get past. That was perfect. There we go, the Mitsubishi car in front with the Polyphony Digital logo on it. We are 15 seconds behind first place at the moment, though. I don't like the thought of that because of the fact that that means a lot of catching up. Holy crap, okay. Come on, come on, come on. That's an RS200 in front. Right, the car in front is the final car to overtake. Perfect, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Ah. Nice. Right, we have one more lap left now. And then that is going to be it for the Dirt Trial Series. Come on, come on. Oh, these corners are tight. Here we go, nice. Try and get a good drift. Good drift. Nice, 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 nice. Pretty sure this is not what Rallying's supposed to look like, but oh well. Oh. How did I forget that corner was that tight? Perfect. Here we go. And across the line. Obviously, you have to get an aerial sideways bit. Probably would have rolled the car, but who cares? Four minutes, 33.695. It was a very good lap. Very good race actually. That's a really good track too. 150,000 credits for the next recording session. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.